I'm Evan Steger, and welcome to this edition to Polisher's Kitchen. What do we have here? I'm just messing with you. This is Evan from Evan's Detail and Polishing. What's going on, everybody? What do we got in these crock pots? That is the question of the day. And why did I call it the polisher's kitchen? Well, I'll bring you in a little closer here so you can see what's going on over here. We're taking these leftover chunks of compound and we're dunking them in here and we're melting them down. I don't know how well you guys are gonna see this, but I can try and lift you guys up a little bit. But this right here is all metal polishing compound. Real nice and chocolatey consistency. You don't want it too thick, you don't want it to boil and bubble over, because it boils, once it starts boiling, it starts cooking all the oil out of it. So I just use a crock pot, we put it on medium, medium high. Um, like I said, just make sure you're not boiling it. Because all these down here, let me just show you here. That's what it looks like. Real nice. La lathery up. The brown gets real nice and lathery. But we take all of our chunks of compound and we save them all throughout the year. So instead of just chucking them in the garbage or letting them go to waste, we save all of these chunks. So all these little chunks is what all that liquid is. We just throw them in there, let them melt, and we just keep rolling. Uh, it takes a little while to get it started. Once it gets started and you get a good, a good melt going on, um, you can throw them in and keep them liquefying really quick. Uh, the green is a lot more difficult. Um, the green doesn't get real wet and melty. It takes a lot more to get that to melt. Um, so green takes us the better part of a day. But I will tell you that all of these chunks, I manage to save about 600 pounds of brown nuggets every year. Um, we melt down a couple times a year. Um, the brown saves me about 600 pounds. 600 pounds at roughly eight to 10 bucks a bar, depending on where I'm buying from. Um, adds up to be quite a bit of money at the end of the year. I mean, that's, you're talking uh, 600 pounds, 10 bucks a bar. That's what, $6,000 a year I save myself here at my shop. Um, green, green I end up having like three, 300 to 400 pounds of green left over every year that we melt down and put back together. Um, it's all stuff that saves us money. I know it sounds crazy, but if it takes me an entire day to melt down all this brown and all this green and form it into new bars, that's still $6,000 I'm saving and it only took me a day to do it. So that's a good investment for me. Um, but what we're doing is taking all those nuggets and I just have cheap silverware trays and I take the silverware trays and line them in wax paper. Like I said, we get this a good pour going here. It's good and melty. It's not quite boiling, which is what we don't want. We don't want it boiling. So all I do is just take it and pour it right into these trays. Ooh, that's pretty runny. That's gonna be good. With our wax paper, we pour them full. Ooh, that's hot. Be careful you don't burn yourself. But I just buy cheap crock pots. These crock pots are like 20 bucks a piece at Walmart. And the brown one will always be brown. The green will always be green. We don't mix them because you don't want to cross contaminate them. Same as everything else. Now, I'm gonna do another tray here. Just fill this right up to the top here. As you can see, it's making a hell of a mess. But now, before I get this too empty in the crock pot, I wanna put some more nuggets back in there so that the liquid 
can help it liquefy faster. Because if I start it from fresh, it doesn't seem to melt as quick or as easy. So all I'm gonna do is take these chunks of compound and we're just gonna dunk them right in. And since we have quite a bit of melty in there already, it's just gonna liquefy super fast. And that's what, that's what I want, because I don't want to waste a whole ton of time and drag out an entire day, but I just fill it right back full to the top, mix in a few smaller chunks with a few of the bigger chunks, Ooh, don't get that on your fingers. You will blister yourself in a hurry. But now, all we do is I take these trays, shake them out a little bit, and I'm gonna go put these in the fridge, or we try to do these when it's winter time, but since a lot of people have been asking me what I do with the leftover nuggets, um, we had like a, a warm, warm spell here. It was like in the 30s all week, and then of course when I want to go shoot this video, it gets up into the 60s. Now it's in the 60s, it's not going to cool outside very well. So we just put them in our fridge and help them cool down. So come on with me. All right, so all I do is just set them right in my fridge. And uh, as you can see, these ones are over here cooling down. Um, they still feel a little mushy. So I'm guessing these ones, uh, this one might be done here. Uh, it's still a little soft in the center. So we'll leave that one there. We're just gonna leave those sit in the fridge. Let them cool down. But while we're letting them cool down, I'll show you what comes out. So when we're done, and we pull them out of the fridge, this is what we're left with. And we've got brand new chunks. These molds make them a little thick and heavy. So like most brown bars are like two pounds. The brown bars that come out of my mold are like three, almost four pounds. A um, little heavier, but doesn't really matter. I just needed something big enough that we could hold on to and use. Um, we primarily use these on our wheel machine after we after we melt them down, um, but it's a it's still usable product. I hate to see this stuff go to waste, especially when it's money out your door. I know it sounds like it's not a lot, especially for the small time polishers that are just doing it on the weekends. Even if you save yourself 30 or 40 pounds worth of compound every couple of years and you do a meltdown every couple of years, 30 or 40 pounds every couple of years, think about that, each bar is about two pounds, and if you're talking 30 or 40 pounds, you're talking 15 to 20 bars. What could you do extra with an extra 15 to 20 bars? That's quite a bit of trucks you could do with 15 to 20 bars worth of compound. Like I said, for me, it's about 600 pounds of brown a year. That's a lot of money just thrown out the door that I would just be throwing away. So just melt them down. Green, that's a whole nother situation. Green is tough. It takes forever to get it to melt like this one here. Brown, we've done five, six, seven, eight, nine bars already this morning. This green is way thicker. It doesn't like to liquefy as nice. So, here's what the green looks like. You ready? Plop. It's nothing like the brown. The brown just comes out so much easier, runs out like chocolate. So the green, we're gonna take this, scoop some up here, put some right in our tray. We're just gonna tap it a little more here. Now these green, green is a heavier bar. Always been a heavier bar. So if you're doing green, understand that if you're using a silverware tray like this, like I am, you're, <laughs> most greens are like three pound bars when you buy them. Like if you buy them off our website, they're three pound bars. When you mix them up like this and put them into silverware trays, this ends up to be, uh, I think my last green one here, this one that we melted down and just took out of the mold just a little bit ago, that one ended up being close to six pounds, so it's huge. That's a whole, 
a whole big chunk. So all right, now that we got that, we're gonna run this one over to the fridge as well. But while we're doing that, we're gonna toss a bunch more chunks in here. So that they start melting down, we're gonna fill it just right back up to the top. And even when I get um, small chunks um, in my shipments, like the bottoms of our barrels and stuff like that, we even keep that stuff in a box. And then when we do our meltdowns, we put all the shavings in there too. I know it sounds silly, but you'd be surprised how much product you save every year just doing this. Like I said, for the polishers that are doing this a lot and the polishers that aren't doing it a whole lot, you really will save quite a bit. Um, now like I said, I will take this brown. We just put a whole bunch of chunks in there and I'll stir it up from time to time because if you let it just sit, um, it'll actually stick together. They'll all get chunked and it'll turn into like a chocolate island in here. Um, but what I will tell you is a lot of people I know buy like old junk stoves and try and cook over the stoves. It usually overcooks them and overheats them. Um, my Nebraska franchise can attest to this. Um, he called me one time and did a meltdown and wondered why his compound cut really well but wasn't shining very well. Um, because if you cook it too hot too fast and you cook all the oil out of it, cooking all the oil out of it means that there's a ton of abrasive in there but no sealants. So if you're worried about that, you can overcook them too fast. Like I said, just don't let them boil. That's the biggest thing. If you don't let it boil, you're going to be good. So I already got a whole bunch more brown here. We were almost out, but since we put a whole bunch of big chunks in here. They started melting super fast. We can fill this tray up here and keep right on rolling. So I hope you guys find this video helpful and uh, hopefully you guys see some value in saving some of your own compound and doing some meltdowns from time to time. Um, I want to thank you guys for tuning into my channel. Uh, if you like this video and found it helpful, like, subscribe, comment, you guys know the deal. Um, but. I appreciate you guys stopping by, and I hope that I've helped a few of you business owners out there save some money on your products. And if you're not, and you just toss them in the garbage, we'll still sell, we'll still sell to you every day. Check out GoShineOn.com forward slash shop to pick up your brown, green, purple, buffs, compounds, liquids, whatever it is you're looking for. We, we try to cover everything. Thank you for tuning in. See you next time.